update one on Cyclone Alfred, which has formed in the Gulf of Carpentaria off the coast of Australia. At 3 a.m. UTC, February the 20th, the storm has 50 mile an hour winds and a pressure of around 996 millibars. 15.2 degrees south, 137.2 degrees east, and it's heading in a southerly direction, probably south southeast at this point under a massive burst of conve convection. Cyclone warnings in effect, we'll get onto that momentarily, but as for the movement, what we expect the storm to do is to continue towards the south and then eventually make an, with second landfall on the um, coast of the Gulf of Carpentaria, then move in land for the second time. It did that for quite a while before it reached tropical storm status on this occasion. 86 miles northeast of Borolula right now, 119 miles southeast of Number War as well. A cyclone warning of course is in effect for that area and it is a stage 2 on the CDPS scale, the Cyclone Destruction Potential Scale, meaning that significant damage is possible particularly on the southern side. So this is what we expect from its effects in the next few days. So this is today, the next 24 hours, the storm slowly edging towards the south, probably a south southeasterly direction, then a slight curve further south into tomorrow, and then overland um, over the Northern Territory probably, near the border with Queensland, and then back towards the west, um, near Port MacArthur, and then off towards the west-northwest by Wednesday as a remnant low we expect. Sea surface temperatures are pretty warm right now around the storm, 29 or even 30 degrees Celsius, possibly even higher locally. Cyclone warnings in effect from Mornington Island to Port Roper, not including Mornington Island, and for Groot Island. And we also have cyclone watches in effect for Mornington Island to Burketown in Queensland. The wind shear is not looking too bad for the storm, it's sort of uh, even moderate amounts of wind shear by the looks of things. Uh, it is on either side of high amounts, however. Uh, you can see how it's been doing in the last few frames, a massive burst of convection that's been sustaining itself for a few hours, but it does look in those last few frames as if it might be being displaced towards the west slightly, possibly from wind shear. Um, on Centre Island, which is very close to the storm's centre right now, uh, wind speeds there have been 45 knots sustained for around two hours or so, which is why we've gone with 50 miles an hour for this update, and they've had a pressure of 996 millibars. Um, 998, sorry, which is why we've gone with 996 uh, to adjust near the centre. Elsewhere in the tropics, we've got this uh, little squiggle here, Invest 92P, which did look better earlier and is now headed off towards the northwest in between Fiji and Vanuatu. It doesn't appear as though that's going to develop into anything significant at this time, uh, but we'll be monitoring it, of course. Those are the satellite views of it. Um, and that is the only other thing that's going on elsewhere in the tropics right now. Pretty quiet. And just a little note, Cyclone Dineo, if you remember that, from the South Indian Ocean, What's left of it, only a very tiny piece of it is left, but it has made it into the South Atlantic, so uh, do celebrate that one. <laughs> but worldwide in 2017, uh, the report for Cyclone 3S came out from Force 13 today, declaring it a tropical storm. And so there have now been four cyclones of tropical storm strength or higher, two tropical storms, two Category 1 hurricanes on the Sapphire Simpson Hurricane wind scale. And that puts us to four for 2017 so far. The benchmark 1900 has 31, but obviously there weren't many observations around back then, so it shouldn't be too difficult to catch. Um, but four so far, 118th out of the 118 on the record. You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com with its tracker at your service at any time. You can also find us on YouTube, search Force 13, all in text. We're also on Facebook, same way of getting through to there, Force 13, all in text, at Force 13 on Twitter as well, if you'd like to get in touch. You can also add Fool 13 on Skype, F -O -O -L 13 and add extension 9094 on Discord for tropical weather chat.